tap because Santa fell off. It, it is crazy, right? It is crazy. How much better the game is without Cassante? It is crazy. I hope you get banned and I have to work at McDonald's and can't afford Spotify anymore. So you delete your account and we delete your playlist. Jenna, listen. Let me explain exactly what you're feeling right now. You deserve better. You are probably a little bit too sad. That's why. You cannot take sad songs. And that's okay, Jenna. I know you have a bit of a hard time listening to a sad song, but you'll get through it. It's just because there's a sad song playing it doesn't mean you have to be more sad listening to it, okay? You can use it's like it's like how do you say it? Like neutrons or whatever they're called? Minus plus, minus becomes plus? Ke chemistry? Chemistry? Walter White? Let's cook Jesse? You guys know what I'm saying, right? Science. I should have stayed in school a little longer. Yeah, you guys want to hear a story? I'll tell you guys a story. In high school, there was this like, holy, how do I say it? There was this like, teacher at chemistry. That was full of ego. Right? And before you even went to the classroom, people already before that would already tell you nightmare stories about her. And... I remember like I had no clue about chemistry and she gave me a one which is like the worst mark you can get which is like you didn't pass right I was like okay okay you want war I'll give it to you so then what I did was went to my friend who's actually a VIP in my chat but he's not here right now as he would confirm the story and that guy actually studies chemistry and then he taught me everything then the next time I was in the class I was like, I want to repair my mark. And she's like, okay. And she starts asking me questions. I just keep, I just like, answer this, answer this, answer that, answer that. She was just like, like she's like fourth question in, I'm giving 100% perfect answers. She already like, at that point she just accepted defeat. Cause she wanted me to fail again. But she just realized I will not be able to fail. And she's just like, oh, okay. She just goes like, oh yeah, you can sit down. And that was the day where I destroyed her ego. Yeah, that's the story. She baited you into studying the material? No, I actually enjoy. I, I mean, it's, it wasn't like a huge loss. Like, I actually enjoyed learning chemistry. Chemistry is fucking interesting. But the reason why I enjoyed studying chemistry is because my friend taught me. If it, was, if it came from her, like, I would probably not enjoy it. That's why it's very important to have a human connection when you're learning things. And this is where most schools fail at IMO. Oh, what's going on? Oh shit! Talia's first! Talia's first! Not good, not good, not good! Mid gap, mid gap! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Uh oh, my champ's for sure useless, level one. What? Yeah, but now I'm dead. Now I'm just dead. Guys, in what world are we taking 3v3 when they're stronger? Okay, I really need to focus up. I'm talking too much useless trash right now. Let's focus up on this laning phase. Which is really entertaining. For sure. Wait, I'm not level 3? I'm not level 3, but she is. I think she's cheating. Wow, this guy is really like playing it weird. But she does have a tear over me. So she has way more mana at her disposal. Okay. Okay, that that's pretty good. Two dark stacks. I can base. I can sell my potion. I can get lost chapter. Oh wait, I can get boots. I think boots is actually a better buy here. Yeah, boots is actually a better buy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Good gang, good gang. Oh, this guy is buying mercs. Uh oh, that's we're in trouble. Oh my God, nemesis! No. I failed stun, I'm sorry.
Wait, what? She's just bot then. No point roaming. Too late. <gasps> oh my god. I need to base again. Can't even take a plate because it was a minute five. Ping this, still five gold. Okay, if you are taking an all in versus Jace, she's just waiting for Grace out. Pretty smart, but she's a level up. But Jace obviously has spells right now back up. So now, this, this, is he going to TP away? He's going to TP away? No, no, no. Okay. Going in, Q into the wall, into the alcove. Stun, okay, F key, okay, Spinter. Wait, I didn't get Spinter, of course she has Mercs, okay, interesting. That's a problem. My Mercs are so annoying. Don't tell me we're gonna die to our roam again. Bro, she's roaming level 5, she's not even level 6. At least she loses whole wave, I guess. I'm doing pretty bad on splinters right now. My mana. I think I have to base the P with lost chapter. I don't have double Q because I'm lacking splinters. Not sure where Jax went. Oh, wait, he's the jungler. He's not a top laner. Alright, we're camping Jace here. For my last splinter. I got double Q. He has no boots, and I do. That is a mage on a power spike, baby. Face. Nice. Now I can put stopwatch into first slot, sell my refillable, buy another huge power spike with Finnish Codex, and life is good. And then hopefully my Fiora will swap and go top, and this guy burn TP. And Botlin seems to be doing fine. My Fiora is just gonna abandon and leave me the wave. Okay, I'm really fat. Not bad. We should let the play die here, so enemy loses gold. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Bro. Okay, next combo she will die. She can only tank me for one wave right now. I'm pretty fat. And I'm also gonna roam bot here. She also wants to roam bot, but I'll be kind of same time. Oh, fuck. Bad reaction time. A bit of a weak reaction time. Oh my MG, first time seeing Nemesis happy. I'm not happy. This is just my Shin persona. What are you talking about? Okay, anyway. So we're gonna take a plate and then and then we see what happens. Was her support rather? She could hex flash. She could like come and hex flash from somewhere, you know? You have to also like there's so many variables you have to consider in League of Legends. Oh. Well, the, I can kind of kill them soon at this point, but it's hard. If one thing catches me, I can just die easily, so I have to be careful. Shit. Damn, no kill. Sucks. I misplayed a bit. When you're recalling with 1 HP, you also always have to take a look if enemy has global ults because you don't want to die to a global ult. In this case, it's fine. So we got a 1 for 1 and Grace can probably just tax this mid wave for me, which is totally fine to do. Because, yeah, while I don't get the wave, enemy Talia will also lose everything here and my Grace is gonna get a hit. She doesn't have a mythic and I do. I'll try to land st stun. If I land stun, I probably can land my... 
after my spells and take a prox half HP off her. Well. I have to be careful because I don't want to get combat by her. Uh, it's a bit tough to enter into her. Once you lose stun, then she will. I mean, once you miss stun, she will just walk up and spam spells. My stuns are missing. At the moment it hits, you die. Okay. We got base. We got W Wolf. Now we buy items. I'm really uh, I could buy major here if I really want to risk it, but I think it's oh we have to tip it bot. I always have to look out what's happening in the map. And then I'm gonna sell stopwatch. Sometimes I'd keep it, but in this case, oops. What well, why did he take the I shouldn't have missed Q, but yeah. Because that would also be spinter stacks for me if it doesn't take the kill. Yeah, gonna go back mid. Yeah, but you always have to like never lower your guard in solo queue. You also always have to be ready for everything, especially in a fast-paced region like Korea. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, no! Oh, she got it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a different uh, trade pattern here because she always tries to dodge my initial one. So I'm gonna do two of them. Oh fuck! Well, it didn't work. Almost worked. But that, one, that one was way closer than before. If you do two Qs instead of like one, it's just gonna be harder to dodge because you you cover more area like this. Then she has like almost no way to dodge it. Mm, that was a bit too fast. Stun tracks? No, out of range. Not bad. I'm missing a bit of stuns right now. If I hit at least one, they will all die. Yeah, we got tower. I really need to base though because I'm um. This is good for our team. So now I have home guards, which is very nice. I don't have to stay in the fountain so long. I think my teammates are gonna kill top lane here. I'm gonna go bot now, and Aphelios is gonna take over mid. Playing sideline as a mage can be very dangerous. Because you're very mobile and the lane is way, very long, but it's still better than making your ADC go sideline. Okay, so this Talia might not expect me here, but I cannot one-shot her. Sadly, when she buys mercs, actually maybe I can. Okay, I lied, I lied. I thought she'd be a bit tankier. Since I have no TP, I'm not gonna look to roam anywhere. I'm just gonna stay bot lane and keep getting a lead for myself. And in 20 seconds, if my team is still fighting, I can look to TP. But yeah, right now we have a 4v4 top side. Okay, if you are died. So, oh. Shit. I think I get her. She's too slow, she can dodge. Okay, she flashes. Okay, if you know your limits really well, you can kind of like play around tower aggro like that, but you have to be careful because you have the Anji in your build. But for example, right now, I can just flash on her and finish her. Cut, 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 cut the video, cut the video. Cringe. I lost track of Jax and he was really bottling, because I'm a dummy. And now I gave uh, a big shot on to Jax. Which is really bad, because the champ uses gold really well. And now we're going to lose Infernal too, so this game is definitely not even close to being won. But we got good news, guys. Enemy team has Kalista. This champion scales like trash, usually, so there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, we're gonna go bot. Lost our flash. We're fighting top side. We're gonna check Crocs. In case Jace is doing them. We're gonna check this bush in case he cheeses. So when you clear waves, okay, you never wanna use too many abilities. Because if you use all your abilities on the wave and the enemy is like waiting you in the bush or something, you're, you can die easier. So the way you clear a wave if you're really not sure if someone is in these bushes is you use only like the ability that's like the lowest cooldown, right? So mainly Q. You never want to use your E, for example. E is like th your only escape. Do I need to TP? I do. I'm gonna TP. 
Safety P, but I'm coming in hot. Who's stunned? Pull this guy, because that guy will die. And then finish up Rel, because she has no damage left. There we go. I'm on vision here, so I have to be careful. I can face check. I can run into Talia WQ into Kalista, so I have to be really careful here. Kind of rough situation because there's no camps up and there's no objectives up, so I have to go top. It's a lot of inefficient time, but there's nothing I can do in this case, really. So what I can do here is make a solo queue play, where I actually stay on top and I keep cheesing. I know they have a ward in Chai, but they don't have a ward here. And I'm gonna preemptively base because there's a chance this Jay is just straight up runs bot here and ignores. Never mind. Okay. He has no MR. If I land my stun, he's dead. I stack up Q, so I have more balls on the ground. And there we go, he's dead. So the reason why he's tanky is because Jace gets a lot of free armor and MR when he's in melee form, and he was in melee form there. He was in range form, I would need like one less Q to kill him. We're buying magic because we're cocky. We buy Red Sweep. Because with Red Sweep you can kind of play Tom and Jerry, you know, in jungle. Oh, look at this guy. Like, wow. But the problem is, me going to stop these jacks is dangerous because I know enemy rally is also here. Because I'm tracking them. They're gonna try to turn to me. Oh, here's Flash. I have a Cosmic Drive. So, the reason why I will live here is only because I have a Cosmic Drive. If I didn't have a Cosmic Drive here. Oh, what the fuck? You're dead at least. I'm sorry, I didn't have ult yet. We actually lost the 2v2. This, this guy is really strong, but that's because I gave him a shutdown earlier. If he didn't have a shutdown, he wouldn't have two items right now. And he would probably just, yeah, live. That's at least plus four on Major. So I'm gonna play slow here, because I just need to cut him out. I can wait multiple spell rotations. There we go. Plus four again on Major. Barn is a big huge huge here, yeah? By going for a bot play, we're definitely leaving Barn exposed, so we have to be careful of that. Okay, looks like it's fine. I'm gonna base. If I wasn't shimming, I would probably go to this bush right here. And cheese again. To get another plus four free Mage, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna shim. Maybe the ghost. Uh. Oh, okay. I have to join this fight. Looks like it's pretty positive because Jax died and Jax is kind of the main character for enemy team right now. I'm just gonna walk in with my team and look to land a stun, hopefully. Oh, that was pretty bad aim. And now Jace is teleporting into his death. That's plus two on Major, now we keep chasing. We're gonna try to get more kills. Oh, cringe. Oh, cringe. Yeah, when you're ahead, you should never greet and burn your flash like that. I want 200 gold from my Rabadon. I guess this mid wave will do. Now remember, when you're this far ahead, you actually should never buy Rabadon here. Because you're doing so much damage, you're most likely overkilling your opponents. It's way better to itemize Azonia, where the active can literally save your life and have so much value. But I'm Nemesis. I will buy Zonia, uh, buy Rabadon. To make sure I can lose, a ga lose the game. Now we're gonna look to wrap around here. It's a bit risky. Should I catch him? Okay. He did time it. We had some synergy there. Oh no, I missed. See? No Zonia, no bitches. I'm dead. I would probably be that with Zonia there, to be fair, but still. Okay, daft. Sidesteps the Leo W. Can he do. Oh, well, okay. He ran out of. I think he ran out of chakrams. That's kind of the downside of Aphelios. It might look really good at the beginning, but then you're fighting, and in the middle of the fight, you run out of bullets for your weapon, and then all of a sudden it looks bad. Okay. So here's another lesson, okay? You. Let's say you're in this position, you're a fat mage, you have these items, what should you do here with items? A lot of you guys would buy an amplifying tome, but that's actually a mistake. Okay, that no matter what, the next item just has to be stopwatch. 750 gold for immense value, that's why you just save the cash here, and you don't buy anything. You buy amplifying tome, you don't have the slot anymore. And then you're doomed. Can't do that. 
Beauty of Syndra, kite the blue buff, and then fail it, and then it's gonna reset. See that? Nemesis moment, it's called. Now my Tomcatch is in trouble, and I'm supposed to help him. This blue buff is also trolling me. Oh well, bye Tomcatch. That trolled by Nemesis. Okay, there's a high chance they come into here. This Rel, I feel like she maybe comes here. Oh no, she doesn't. No! I didn't see she has Seraph, she didn't get executed by my 15% max health execute. Oh no! Game was looking so good, but here comes Nemesis throwing the game. Oh no, Rip Graves. Oh no, we're actually gonna lose. Oh no. Okay, we need to restart, restart, restart. Let's restart. In a moment where you lose control of the game and you start chain feeding from being too cocky, you need to reset. Okay, your brain needs to start from scratch. You need to just hit the button in your brain for a reset. And that's what I need to do right now. Let's talk less and focus more. Because now, like, just think about it, okay? You were winning the whole game and you had the adrenaline, right? You had the fun. But now enemy team had these two comeback fights and now they're gonna get cocky. They're gonna now start thinking this game is winnable. And this is where you need to shut down their dreams. They're also buying some MR, so maybe void stuff will, will be needed soon. Oh yeah, Jax is also going with Sunt. Oh yeah, yeah. Graves doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. We have no no Jogons because my jungle was too lazy to do them. So now we have no guarantee to like fall back on, you know. Merc's gonna save her there. I have to reset and go top. What happened to stopwatch? Wait, what do what did happen to stopwatch? Wait, what? What happened? Where's my stopwatch? Oh, I'm so stupid. I have the rune. And I use the rune. Okay, I played that bad. I'm pretty sure I can leave that without using my flash. These guys want me though. The team is going for an end though. Okay. Uh, I'm on my way! Oh, we ended. Okay, nice. Yeah, Syndra E is a really, really strong spell. You can see there that the Rel and Jax kept trying to engage. But they couldn't because I kept eing them away. And because I have a very high CDR build, my E came up pretty fast. Even though those champions should generally have an advantage after using my E because their cooldowns come up faster. Now, the best thing you can do into Syndra is to actually flank her from multiple sides. Because then she doesn't have straight, you know, E angle, EQ, QE angle. So you, if, you at, if you target her from multiple sides, she can only E one, uh, one angle and then... She will have no escape for any other angle. Not bad.